Have you ever thought Glory should build a numpad? They did. Kind of. This thing's more of a full-fledged macro pad than a boring numpad. Actually, the glorious GMMK numpad name is the most underwhelming thing about this beauty. So slide on in and let's give it a spin. Yep, you heard right, a rotary knob and a slider. We're already beyond mere numpad features and we're just getting started. But before we continue, you need to know that this numpad was sent out to me by the folks at Glorious and their only ask was an honest review. Funny thing, in my previous video, I joked about not getting review units and here we are, we're in there now. So thanks to all of you that have supported me and you already know this won't affect my review at all. Let's get right into the box. Of course, there's a dope macro pad. I'm gonna call it as I see it. There's a keycap puller, the standard glorious plastic guy. Just throwing a wire style puller already. There's a switch puller, but also pretty standard. The braided USB-C cable for charging or using wired, which is currently how you'll make QMK updates. The core software works wired or wirelessly, but it's faster mapping and saving over the wire. Not listed, but included extra gaskets, as in the gasket mount pad, similar to the Pro, extra screws, a glorious sticker, and a quick start guide. Oh, there's also a sticker with shortcuts you can put on the bottom if you choose. As with all glorious products, it's adequately packaged and protected. Now let's break it down and get technical. There are 18 programmable buttons for your enjoyment and a programmable slider. I have the black slate version, so it has the black double shot shine through ABS keycaps. It also includes pre-lubed Red Fox switches and pre-lubed GSV2 stabilizers. Notice I didn't say pre-over-lubed. These aren't overdone, and a tiny addition to lube might even help. Just don't go crazy, as they have great tolerances and will stick down if you over-lube. They're PCB mount if you're interested in replacing them, although the V2s are nice. This pad includes a north facing hot swap PCB and there will be a south facing version for all you pro users who want a consistent aesthetic. Similar in appearance and build to the pro, this pad features an all aluminum case, is gasket mounted and includes foam below the PCB and in between the PCB and the plate. This nifty little gadget tips the scales at just over a pound. So it's definitely solid feeling and stays planted. This keypad can be used wired or via the Bluetooth 5.0 LE. The box lists 30 hours of charge, but Glorious states 76 with the RGB off. I've personally been using either off or solid colors to let me know which layer I'm currently on. It's easy to keep track that way. Speaking of RGB, you have access to the standard 16.8 million color palette. You can fine tune the per key RGB through the core software. I recommend leaving Core installed as it's the only way to get firmware updates. You can configure the pad with QMK also. This little powerhouse is perfect for desktop or mobile devices and includes a great glorious two year warranty so make sure you register your pad. There's also plenty of customization support available. Brass and poly plates are available. This pad shares the same rotary knob as the Pro so those colorways are available. There are currently navy blue and e-white top frames to choose from with other colorways to follow. There are colored sliders in blue, white, black, and pink, and there's also alternate badges available. Once the pre-orders fill, this will be an in-stock item through the Glorious website or one of their vendors, and it will sell for $129.99. The coolest thing this pad has going for it is the ability to make it distinctly your own. It's not just a numpad, it's a gaming macro pad, a stream deck alternative, a video or audio editing pad, whatever you can dream up. So far, my favorite uses are for an editing pad with DaVinci Resolve. Having some of the multi-key shortcuts for the app bound to one button allows me to keep my main hand on the mouse and edit faster. Since it's Bluetooth, my second favorite use is setting it up as a WASD pad, grabbing a wireless mouse and using these for travel companions for my Steam Deck. No need to drag a whole cube around. Even after assigning WASD, you still have 14 keys left, sufficient for most games. And I do all this with a single profile and three layers. The first being the default numpad, an editing layer, and a gaming layer. With three profiles and three layers, there's still headroom to do individual games or other productivity apps. It's pretty crazy. Generally speaking, another great reason to use a numpad is that having it on the left allows you to keep your mouse hand working on mouse stuff. 
So, office productivity, gaming, streaming, editing video or audio, this is a game changer. The build quality and the diversity of use cases make this a great battle station or work desk addition at the price. Even its value as a travel companion is strong. Paired with a small form keyboard like the GMMK Pro or GMMK2, it's there when you need it, and it's gone when you don't. Dun, dun, dun. If only it were that simple. Now some things you should know about that aren't awesome. It's a solid value at 130, but I think it would have been much better if there was an included Bluetooth dongle. They're inexpensive and would have been a great ad. I did snag a small one from Amazon for about 15 bucks and I'll link it below. This is a gasket mounted unit just like the Pro and it suffers from the same stiff and hard, <laughs> oh behave, gasketless feel of the Pro. Although you can't knock the consistency. With the GSV2 stabs and the Red Fox switch is pre-lubed that should sound pretty good right out of the box. Not too shabby, maybe just a little dab more lube on the stabs and switches. There's a minor unevenness and a slight ping on some of the switches, but this is common even in the best factory lube switches. So to quickly recap, for 130 bucks, you get an amazingly versatile macro pad that's gasket mounted, comes with pre-lubed Red Fox switches and GSV2 stabilizers, has a slider and a rotary knob, Bluetooth, QMK, Core, and the ability to make it a stream deck a numpad, a mini gaming keyboard, and the perfect travel companion for a Steam Deck. And I'm sure there's more that I'm missing. You don't get that super satisfying gasket mount experience, and you don't get a Bluetooth dongle, which you may or may not need. The value outweighs the minor negative points, and I have no problem recommending this to you, my friends. If you're interested in a macro pad, numpad, stream deck alternative with more utility or a travel companion for your Steam Deck, this is it. It's definitely all that and more. If you watch this far and still need a good battle station keyboard, look no further than this GMMK Pro video. Later, friends. <laughs>